you are watching episode number 8 of windows 365 masterclass in this episode we are going to learn how to configure windows 365 switch this feature is particularly good for byod scenarios this feature allows you to switch between your physical pc and your cloud pc using the windows task view switcher so let's go and learn how to configure this this is a brand new feature which is going to be available for windows 365 service currently this is under public preview and christian brinkoff released this article a couple of days ago so i'm going to follow this article to set up this windows 365 switch and we will learn what are the process involved in enabling windows 365 switch within your organization so let's jump right in because this is a private preview feature right now if you want to enable this you have to enroll your windows 11 operating system into an insider program and that too on a beta channel so i have a spare surface pro x in handy so i just installed windows 11 on it so let us go to windows update and enroll into the insider program go to your windows update click on windows insider program to enable insider program If you have not turned on diagnostics and feedback you have to turn it on so just click on open diagnostics and feedback and just turn on this option send optional diagnostics data now if you go back to windows update go to your insider program you can see that now you can enroll yourself into the insider program so click on get started so if you do happen to have an account you can log in with your insider account If you don't have you can link your existing account so i'm going to link my existing account click on continue this goes through the verification process and click on continue here you can um pick which channel you prefer to use to use windows 365 boot we selected dev channel as per the documentation to use windows 365 switch we can be as part of the beta channel So I'm going to select beta channel. Let's select the beta channel and click on continue. Click on continue. So to apply this policy you need to restart your device and check for update. So that's what we are going to do. Click on restart now. Okay, we just rebooted our physical device. Let me quickly go back to settings. Click on settings. Go to Windows update and this time click on check for updates. This ID leave would show us any beta channel updates available for this particular device and if it is we are going to install that. All right, I can see that there are few updates which is going to be downloading and it's going to install. So I'm going to install all the available updates at the moment. Let's do a quick restart. So while that is happening, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that we have the right licenses assigned for this particular user. So I'm going to go back to my um, Intune portal. So you can go to Intune portal by going into endpoint.microsoft.com. Within your Intune, just go to users, pick the user who you want to assign this license to. So for this test, we are going to use this user called Shashimi. Select that user, go to licenses and see if you have assigned a license. So I'm going to quickly go to assignments and I'm going to assign a Windows 365 Enterprise. 4 vCPU 16 GB RAM 128 GB hard disk cloud PC license to the user after the license assignment let's go back to your devices click on cloud PC creation and click on all cloud PCs this is where you would be able to see all the cloud PCs provisioned for a user so for this user we don't have any cloud PC at the moment so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give this user a cloud PC If you want to learn how to provision a provisioning package and custom image network configuration, I have created separate videos on that so I'm not going to explain it again. So what we are going to do is we are going to pick a provisioning policy and I'm going to assign this user to that group so th this user will get a cloud PC pretty soon. So I'm going to choose a provisioning policy. Let's go to provisioning policy. I'm going to add this user into an Azure Active Directory join. Microsoft hosted network policy so all i need to do is find out which group this user have to be part of so within that i can see that this is assigned to this particular group i'm going to copy that group i'm going to go back to groups search for the group and select the group 
and within that go to memberships you can see that this group has one user already so i'm going to add another user to this group so let's go to users and select the user called sashimi and click on select so now it is adding one more user to this group let's do a quick refresh yep i can see that the user is part of the group now if i go back to devices under cloud pc pretty soon i will see that this user is going to be allocated with a cloud pc if i go to all cloud pcs you can see that uh, it's not provisioned at the moment but the status is being changed to provisioning so that's what we want so it will approximately take around 10 to 15 minutes for this cloud pc to be provisioned at the in the meantime we can go back to our physical pc and let's see if we can see the updates i'm going to quickly go back to settings go to windows update still hasn't kicked in so i'm going to quickly reboot one more time all right so now let's check one more time so i'm going to go back to settings go to windows update oh yeah you can see that there is windows 11 insider preview available for this device so i'm going to click on download and install click on turn on and this is going to take a while so i'm going to pause the video i'll get back to you after i finish the installation of this feature all right so our physical pc is being installed with the windows 11 insider preview i'm going to quickly restart it our surface pro x has been restarted let's quickly check if the build is being installed so go to settings this time go to system and click on about so under windows specifications you can check the build so the version is 23 h2 let's go back to the documentation to see what is the minimum requirement the documentation states that you can have a dev channel as well but the beta is the one which is preferred but we need to be on the build 22631 let's quickly verify okay so we are definitely about that it's 22631 so we are on the right build the next step is i'm waiting for this cloud pc to be provisioned so we can validate it one more time by just logging into the cloud pc before configuring the required things for the switch to cloud pc perfect if you notice our cloud pc has been provisioned for this user so i'm going to quickly use this account to sign in to see if we can log in to cloud pc without using the switch first you can go to windows365.microsoft.com and sign in with the user account provide the username put in the password and sign in as the user so this is the first time this user is trying to sign in and use the cloud pc so the initial process is you have to go through this visit to get started and within that you can see a cloud pc is being configured for this user so i'm going to rename the cloud pc so i'm going to use it as windows 365 switch cloud pc renamed it click on open in a browser i'm going to accept all the defaults it is signing in for the first time all right so we signed into our cloud pc so everything which is required from a user licensing point of view this user have a cloud pc license and we can use it to log into a cloud pc so what we are going to do real quick here is we are going to enroll this cloud pc to the beta channel so go to settings if you go to system about you can see the current version is windows 11 enterprise 22h2 it's not an insider build so i'm going to quickly go back to windows update let's close all of this and scroll down till you see windows insider program click on windows insider program and i'm going to enable the diagnostic turn on this is exactly what we did with the physical device as well and this time after enabling it we will be able to use windows insider program click on get started link your existing account so i'm going to use the existing account to link it to windows insider program you can either use dev or beta so i'm going to just use beta channel for the cloud pc click on continue and click on continue you need to restart to get the update so i'm going to click on restart now so that is going to restart the cloud pc um, i'm going to pause the video i'll come back once i rebooted the pc now i'm logging in back to the cloud pc after the reboot let's quickly go to windows update go to settings windows update i'm gonna quickly check for updates at the same time we're gonna go to the windows insider program to see if it we have enrolled it properly 
All right, so you can see the account is being linked and we are part of the beta channel. So now let's open the Windows update. We will soon see the new beta release for Windows. All right, so now it's start downloading the latest Windows 11 in Insider Preview on the cloud PC. So what we are gonna do is you're gonna wait for this installation to complete, then reboot, then we will continue with the test. I'm gonna pause the video, I'll see you on the other side. All right, so our updates are installed. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly restart the cloud PC now. The cloud PC has just been rebooted. Let me quickly go and check if the operating system is updated. I'm gonna go to system, go about, and check the operating system version number. It's 22631. The minimum version is 22631.2129. So let's check ours. It's 2191. So that is updated. So all of our prerequisites are met. I'm going to quickly go to my physical machine and I'm going to install the Windows 365 app. My cloud PC is being changed to Windows Insider build and my physical PC is also Windows Insider builder. So let's install the Windows 365 app on the physical machine. Let's open it. I'm going to skip through these steps and in this step you can see that now we have this option available to add it to task view. I'm going to click next, click done and sign in to my user profile. Now I have signed into my user profile. To verify all you have to do is click on this ellipsis. Here you can see that along with pin to taskbar you have a new option called add to task view. So let's click on add to task view. Now it says that the cloud PC is added to the task view. So let's go to the task view. So this is the task view on your physical machine. So you can click on this icon. So when you click on this, I have a new option called connect to Windows 365 cloud PC. And it is showing the switch cloud PC we have configured before. So let's go and click on connect to cloud PC. You can see that now it is directly connecting to the cloud PC. So we have to wait on the local PC. Let's wait for a couple of seconds. Now it is logging into the cloud PC within my Windows itself. So I don't have any remote desktop enabled. This directly signed into my cloud PC. How do I verify it? I can just go to about and this is actually the cloud PC. Let's open a couple of uh, application here. So I'm gonna quickly launch Teams, just gonna randomly open and keep it up here. I'm gonna keep the settings as well here so that I just wanna quickly show you the look and feel and how we can go back and switch back and forth between these two devices, one to the cloud PC and another to your local PC. So I opened a bunch of application. My Teams is open, my settings is open and my app store is also open. Let's go to the switch switcher, task view switcher. I'm going to click here and I'm going to go to the local desktop. So click on local desktop. Now I am on my local PC. This is where I have launched this uh, Windows 365 app from. So going forward, I don't even have to use the app. If I want to switch back between my local PC, this is my local PC. I want to go back to my Windows 365 cloud PC. All I have to do is switch and I'm imp immediately between my cloud PC and my local desktop. How simple it is. It is actually really integrated with the Windows itself. So as a user, if I'm using my BYOD device or I want that seamless integration with my Windows, I can use Windows 365 switch to interact or switch between my local PC and my cloud PC with just a switch. I hope you find this video helpful. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.